वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी लर्न प्रैक्टिस सेट टू पॉइंट वन अवर टू डेज टॉपिक इज प्रैक्टिस सेट टू पॉइंट टू बिफोर गोइंग टू प्रैक्टिस सेट टू पॉइंट टू वी हैव टू लर्न सम प्रॉपर्टीज सम बेसिक कंसेप्ट विच इज रिक्वायर्ड टू सॉल्व प्रैक्टिस सेट टू पॉइंट टू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू लर्न द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इरेशन नंबर विच आर गिवन ऑन द पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर इन द पार्ट रिमेम्बर दिस सी ऑन द पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर दिस प्रॉपर्टीज आर गिवन एंड दैट प्रॉपर्टी वी हैव टू लर्न नाउ सी फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी इज गिवन इट इज एडिशन और सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ अ रैशनल नंबर विथ इरेशनल नंबर इज एन इरेशनल नंबर एडिशन और सब्ट्रैक्शन दैट मीन्स फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी इज सपोज दिस इज द रैशनल नंबर एंड इफ वी एड और सब्ट्रैक्ट विथ इरेशनल नंबर देन द आंसर इज अ irrational number that means if we add irrational number with the rational number the final answer will be a irrational number this is same for the multiplication and division also that means if we multiply this rational number with irrational number or this divide rational number with irrational number then the final answer is a irrational number therefore see the property addition or subtraction of a rational number with irrational number is an irrational number second multiplication or division of non zero rational number with irrational number is also an irrational number and the third property addition subtraction multiplication and division of two irrational numbers can be either rational number or irrational number see this third property again i will read this addition subtraction multiplication and division of two irrational numbers that means this one irrational number and this is another irrational number if we add these two numbers if we subtract these two numbers or multiply or divide then the final answer may be irrational number or it may be a rational numbers these are the three properties which are given on the page number 24 about the addition subtraction of a rational and irrational number therefore dear student remember if we have to do the addition subtraction multiplication or division with rational number and irrational number the final answer will be a irrational number and if we do the subtraction addition multiplication division of two irrational number then the answer is a irrational number or it may be a rational number these are the properties of irrational numbers now we have to learn the properties about the order relation of the real numbers properties of order relation on real numbers properties of order relation on real numbers first property is given if a and b are two real numbers then only one of the relation holds good that means if two real numbers are given dear student all of you know that the real numbers i have explained you in the first lecture real numbers is the universal set for all the set of numbers that is natural numbers then integers whole numbers for all that 
the real number is the universal set. Now see, here A and B are the two real numbers. Then only one of the relation holds good. That means if two real numbers are given, and if we have to find out the order relation, that means which is the smaller one and the greater one, for that purpose three conditions will be there. And out of that three condition, one condition is applicable. That is good. That is that two numbers may be equal. This is the first condition. Second, that out of that two number, one number is a. That means A is lesser than the B. And third condition will be A is greater than B. That means if two numbers, real numbers are given, any one of these. may be there that means both numbers are equal one is smaller than the another one and the one is greater than the another one that means if a and b are two real numbers then a equal to b a less than b and a is greater than b that out of this one condition holds good then see here suppose i write 2 and 3 the condition Second will follow that is two is less than three. If it is like that, five and four, then five is greater than four, or it may be a four equal to four. Out of if the given numbers are like this, then these three condition may be followed. Out of that one is correct. Second condition is given. If a is less than b. And b is less than c. Then a is less than c. See, a is less than b. Suppose I write here one and two. Suppose a as a one and b as a two. Then condition is that a is less than two. And if this two is less than any number, that means three. See here, if a is less than two. And two is less than three, then we can observe here clearly the relation between one and three. In that relation, we say that one is less than three. That means second rule is that a is less than b and b is less than c. Then the relation between a and c is a is less than c. By using this, we can find out the relation between the first and the third. Now let's see the third property. If a is less than b, if a is less than b, then a plus c is less than b plus c. That means condition is that five and six. In this condition, two numbers are given. A is less than c. That means five is less than c. And if this condition follows, then if we add One common number in both the given numbers. That means suppose we add two, and here we add two, then it is seven, and it is eight. Therefore, seven is less than eight. That means a is less than b. And if this condition is followed, and if we add one common number in both the given numbers, that means a plus c and b plus c, then the condition is like this therefore a is less than b then a plus c is less than b plus c that means if we add one common number in both the given number then the condition if a is less than b and c is greater than 0 then ac is less than bc that means see dear students if a Is less than b. That means if we take any number three, is less than four. And if we multiply these two numbers by another real numbers, but that number is a greater than zero. That means the value is positive value. That means c is greater than zero. C is greater than zero. That means the value of c is positive numbers. Got it? That means suppose here it is three into I take two and four 
into the value of c is 2. Then it is 3 to the 6 and 4 to the 8. Therefore, it is 8. That means if a is less than b and if we multiply these two numbers by a positive number, then that multiplication follows this rule that is AC is less than BC. And if the condition is like this, that means the number by which we multiply is less than 0, that means it is negative number. See in this case, same example we can take A is less than B, suppose it is 3 and 4. And if we multiply this 3 with negative number, and 4 weight negative number then it is minus 6 and here it is minus 8 then C is condition is that this minus 6 and this minus 8 this minus 6 is greater than the minus 8 that means if two numbers is given and one multiply that number with a any real number but the conditions are depend upon the number is a positive or negative. If we multiply this negative no, positive number, then AC is less than BC. And if the value of C is positive, then it is AC is greater than BC. Now, dear student, you understand this order relation between the real number. This is the basic concept which we have to use further. Here, C again, if A and B are two real numbers, then any one of that three conditions are given one is a true that means both numbers will be the same that is a is equal to b or a is less than b or a is greater than b second if a is less than b and b is less than c then a is less than c that means relation between a and c we can find out a is less than c and if a is less than b and in that number, if we add a, another common number in both the numbers, then a plus c is less than b plus c. Same way, two numbers are given and if we multiply that two numbers with a number, but for that condition, the result depends upon the that third number which is less than 0 or which is greater than 0. Depending upon the value of C, the relation get changes. I think, dear student, you understood this. In your notebook, you have to write this order relation. And uh, I have already given you, that is on page number 24, properties of irrational numbers. Now, we have to see the square root of a negative number. See? Uh, the square root of a negative numbers. We have to learn one another property that is square root of a negative number. We have to find out the square root of negative numbers. Dear student, all of you know that if root a equal to b, then b square is equal to a. That means if we take the square of both sides, we got here square of root a is a a and b is a b square same way we can see it is root 5 is equal to x then root 5 if we make the square of this root 5 is a 5 and square of x is a x square that means square of x is a positive number that means square of any real number is always non-negative is always non-negative see any number suppose we write here 5 minus 5 if we make the square the square of minus 5 is 25 square of 5 is also 25 that means if we have to write the square root of 25 it is plus or minus 5 got it therefore square of any real number is always non-negative if I make the square of this negative 5, then it is plus 25. Here it is plus 5 or the positive 5 square, it is positive 25. That means square of any real number is always a non-negative number. 
दैट मीन्स स्क्वेर ऑफ एनी रियल नंबर स्क्वेर ऑफ एनी रियल नंबर इज नेवर निगेटिव दैट मीन्स सपोज वी राइट एयर स्क्वेर ऑफ रूट फाइव स्क्वेर स्क्वेर ऑफ रूट फाइव स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू रूट फाइव दैट मीन्स वी नो दैट द स्क्वेर ऑफ एनी रियल नंबर इज अ निगेटिव एंड हियर वी गॉट स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ माइनस फाइव इज नॉट अ रियल नंबर All of you know the real numbers. In real numbers, natural number, whole numbers, integers. Therefore, root five minus five is not a real number. And therefore, from this we can conclude that the square root of a negative real number is not a real number. Square root of a negative real number is not a real number. Therefore. From this, you can understand this. Square of minus five is a twenty-five, and square of five is twenty-five, and that means the square of any real number is a non-negative number. That means square of any real number is never be a negative. And in this case, we get the answer as minus five. But the square root of minus five is not a real number, and therefore we say that the square root of a negative number is not a real number. Now, dear students, we have to start with practice set two point two, question number first. See, question number first from practice set two point two. Uh, show that four root two is an irrational number. Dear student, all of you know that root two is a irrational number. That any number. Whose decimal expansion is non-terminating, non-recurring, is called as a irrational number. Just now we learn one property: multiplication of rational number with irrational number. That is irrational number. Now see here, we have to prove that for root two is an irrational number. Dear student, to prove this. We have to use indirect method of a proof. Indirect method of a proof means we have to prove that it is an irrational number. We have to assume or we have to suppose that this is a rational number, and this our assumption, our supposition is a wrong. That we have to prove. That means our assumption is a wrong. That means. Our assumption is four root two is a rational number. That is wrong. That means four root two is a irrational number. This type of a method of a proof is known as a indirect method of a proof. Therefore, we have to assume that let's four root two is a irrational number. We have to prove that this is irrational number. We have to suppose that it is a rational number, and it is rational number. Therefore, we write here four root two is equal to p upon q. Here, q is not equal to zero, and p and q are integers. And and both have no common factor. See, as we say that it is four root two is a rational number. It is rational number. Therefore, we can write it is p upon q. And when writing p upon q, two conditions are there. That is, q is not equal to zero, and p and q are integers, and both have no common factors. Now, see here what will be happen. Root two is equal to p upon four q. That four we have to eliminate. That means we divide both the side by four, and therefore we get here root two is equal to p upon four q. Now observe this. In this case, this is the right hand side. This is the left hand side. In this case, this is irrational number, and this is a rational number. 
irrational number is equal to rational number it is not possible that is our assumption this happen why because we assume that it is a rational number but this will not be happen therefore our assumption is wrong and our assumption is it is a rational number that is wrong means it is a irrational number now see here root 2 is equal to p upon 4 q lhs is a right hand side is a rational number but it is contradictory therefore our supposition is wrong therefore for group 2 is a irrational if we assume this number as a rational number then we get a equation that is root 2 is equal to p upon 4 this equation is a contradictory that means this rational number with irrational number and rational number and irrational number are equal that is contradictory this contradiction happen why because we assume it is a rational number that is wrong therefore we say that for root 2 is a irrational number See the second question from the practice set 2.2. 3 plus root 5 is an irrational number. Same way, 3 plus root 5 is an irrational number. Here also, we have to use the indirect method. Same way, we have to solve this. Therefore, first of all, we have to write let 3 plus root 5 is a rational number. This is rational number therefore 3 plus root 5 equal to p upon q. As we say that this is a rational number therefore we can write 3 plus root 5 is equal to p upon q and condition is q is not equal to 0. p and q are integers and p and q have no common factor therefore now see here this 3 was on that side it is root 5 is equal to p upon q and this minus 3 therefore as we see earlier, this is irrational number and this is a rational number. As q is not equal to 0 and p and q are integers and p and q have no common factor. Therefore, this is a rational number and this is the irrational number. Here, root 5 is a irrational number and this is the rational number. That means RHS, right hand side is a rational number and left hand side is an irrational number is an it is contradictory and therefore our supposition is wrong therefore 3 plus root 5 is an irrational
dear students write down these two sum in your notebook